Providing support is super hard, especially when the other person doesn't understand you. Well, there's a deal that's going on right now that lets you access other people's computer via remote access and it makes support way much easier. Plus, there's a special feature that's called Quick Connect that just you just send out a link and it's easy for them to actually connect and give access. So support is going to be a breeze after you use this deal. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the deal that I'm talking about is called Get Screen, and right now it's on a lifetime deal. So that means that you pay once and you get access forever. It's a $99 deal, and I'm gonna show you really quickly what this gets you. So the $99 deal gets you the Stack One Code Review. So you get permanent access for 10 devices, and the permanent access is, for example, if you wanna use it on your computers, on your phones, and all of that, you have that as a permanent access. That way you're traveling, and you can access your computers really easily. The quick support would be the five clients per day. That's like the easy link, get ready to give support without having them to install a lot of things and setups, no accounts, no passwords or anything like that. Now, how do you actually use it? Like I mentioned before, there's two systems to this. There's a permanent access, which gives access to the computers with permanent access, obviously. Like if you wanna access it anytime that you want, you don't have to like ask them or anything like that. There's already access to this. And then there's a quick support where you send out a link Quick setup, like you download the file, you open it, give access, and that's it. No need for passwords or anything like that. Right now, I have a test going on. For example, I sent out this link and the person hasn't accepted. And what I've done is I've opened the file over here on my computer. And what I'm going to do is it's asking me to download the file. So I'm going to download that little file that they sent over. So it's really quick. I'm going to download it, open it up, and I'm going to open this file. Give it access and it should start over here really quickly. There we go. It's starting up over here. So it just fired up. So just with that link, I'm able to access this computer's computer, this person's computer. All right. So for example, I already have access to this and on Mac, you do have to allow. All right. But once you do that, it's always going to be a breeze to do it. So now I can control this computer and I can do things with it. So for example, if I want to add a link over here and I want to tell them, you know what, I need to provide support with Cloudflare, I need to give them a DNS setup and it's super hard for them to understand how to actually do it, well, it's possible with this, all right? So it's a super quick way to do it. I can also add a chat to this. So for example, let me close this one and I'll actually start a chat over here. So for example, I'll say hi, send it over. I'm actually, I can view it here on the chat. Well, I'm actually viewing that computer. But on my end, there's a little bubble here where I can view this and I can actually respond to them. So it makes it super easy. And I have the key commands, clipboard, file sharing, full screen mode, all this that I have available for tools to provide setup. There's a record feature, like you saw, there's a 20, gig 20 gigabyte limit, but if you need more, stack more, okay? If you need something like this. And there's a lot of things that we can do, like lock panel, panel version, WebRTC connection, and all that good stuff. Let me close this up just to continue. So just like that, I was able to create a quick access. That's what I did, quick support, sent over the link, easy for them to start, and I can control the computer and provide the support that they might need. So it's super easy to do in that sense. Now, if I need to invite a new client, I just click on this, I get a new link, and I send it over. I can add a name to this so I can later find it and just kind of understand where I use this like I did right now. So this was my Mac test. That's the one that you just viewed. And it's super easy to keep track of these. Now, permanent access. This is a different type of access. And for example, I've created a permanent access for this computer. For this, I do need to install Get Screen, which is because it's going to be used constantly. Whenever I want to access it, I'll have access to it. So right now, if I wanted to connect to this computer, I would do so by just connecting right here. And I can add more devices to here. Now it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. No iPhone as of now. They might not allow it, so it kind of, that's a bummer, right? But if I wanted to control my phone right now, I would open the Get Screen app, start now. I would go into login, and it should fire up in a bit. There we go, now I can connect to it. So I'm gonna connect to my phone, and again, I did provide access uh, features with the phone. So it's gonna ask me to, to allow or not. So in this case, I already allowed, so I'm able to actually control this. So if I'm clicking over this, and in my settings on my phone, like you're viewing it on the screen, I can allow mouse and keyboard control or not, and don't allow file transfer if I don't. 
start on boot, prevent sleep on forget screen, etc. And I can do, well, get out of get screen, check out the, the main panel here, the home panel. I can go into settings just in case I need to set up something. So all of that is available with this phone because I can do it because I have the get screen app and it's in the permanent access. So that makes it really interesting. I can provide support to someone really quickly without having to do a bunch of mess. Um, if I try to do this on Zoom, well, it's kind of more limited. They have to install Zoom and if they don't have, have installed Zoom and if they're not admin access and if I don't get the screen share and don't have the option, it just makes it more complex than using something more professional like this. The branding is not available because I have the one stack Remember, it's available available after the three stack. The team features, integrations, is available also. Desktop applications, extensions for Google Chrome, Telegram, all of these are available. For example, if you're using live chat or Jira, you can integrate that there. The history, the settings, and there's a lot more with this. For example, for the permanent access, if I add a device, I can do so by downloading this. I can do a mass deployment and I can send instructions also to do it that way. So basically it's a system that lets you provide support the easy way. And if you don't wanna use it for support, if you wanna use it for yourself to control other devices that you have in your home, in your office, or however you want to use it, it's a really good system and it's really solid. So if you wanna grab this deal, I will leave a link in the description in case you guys wanna grab it. Well, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.